Hey everyone, it's Tammy. I am coming to you live. Not really live, but I'm coming to you from my living room. Um, I have an unboxing today. Um, this is from a company called Spoiled Lips Cosmetics, I think it's called, or Spoiled Cosmetics. Um, I ordered their holiday palette bundle. I ordered a mystery box and I ordered a lippy and then I got a little mini pack of um, Leon lippies for free. I got a another pack of lippies for free and I think I got a palette for free. I don't remember. <laughs> and don't mind the bruises guys, though I'm not being beat up or abused, um, different when I was went to the hospital. So, um, before I get to the unboxing, I just wanted to check in with everyone, make sure everyone is okay. Um, I've been struggling, and I think my brother knows I've been struggling because he took me for a drive yesterday, late yesterday, or the day before, Thursday, yes, day before, um, because this is Saturday. And I've been pretty depressed, pretty, my anxiety has been like, just because, you know, I'm a mom and I have, um, my daughter who's an, es an essential employee. I say that because she works retail. Um, I have her boyfriend who I care about, who is an essential employee. My brother's an essential employee. And I know all these people that are out there that are possibly coming in contact with the virus so I just I've been very anxious and getting cabin fever because I've been stuck in the house so he took me for a drive and um, he took me up to a nearby lake called Munas Lake and a nearby little uh, park called Cascade Park um, I'll insert the photos that I took here Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed those photos. Um, it was great. I haven't been up to Weenus Lake since I was a kid. And I just, that was like the very first lake I was at that I caught a fish with my grandparents. And anyways, it's so beautiful out that way. I just, my main... Get something to drink, get a snack, because this is going to be a long video. <laughs> um, but when aren't my videos long videos? Anyways, so I want you all to know that I'm here for you. If you need someone to talk to, it's okay not to be okay. Um, it's okay to worry. It's okay to be stressed. Just don't let it consume you. Um, so just, just remember that it's okay not to be okay but make sure you have someone you can talk to and make sure to use any um, outlets like the suicide prevention hotline that I always have listed in my description or something along those lines if you have a local one support groups whatever you need just to make sure that you are okay so anyways now let's get to the unboxing I will admit I have opened this already because I had to check out the crates. So, the reason why I actually went on and bought a palette from these guys is because of Robert Welsh. He is a British makeup artist. He does um, ghost stories and makeup Mondays. And he used this palette, which is like a clanship for like a Ouija board. Um, I don't allow Ouija boards in my house. Um, I don't condone the use of Ouija boards. I am pagan. I believe that they are a portal to spirits and you don't know what will come back through or what 
will actually stay on the other side. Um, a lot of times people have used them and brought demons into their home, if that's what you believe in. But anyways, don't judge me for my beliefs. But I'm going to open these up and I'm going to show you guys all the pretties, okay? Um, I'm going to turn my light on just because it'll help with some of the sparkle. I'm going to take my glasses off because my glasses always reflect my light. Also, this lotion, Hemp's Sweet Pineapple Honey Melon. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Not sponsored, but I really wish it would happen. But I've never been sponsored by anything. Ever. But, okay. So, let's start out with the planchette one. There's a lot in here, guys, so be prepared. I have, like, a long table in front of me, so I'm going to throw all the boxes that way. So, that's what the front looks like. And that's what the back... And I actually shouldn't have done that because I do want to let you guys know um, something kind of disturbing about this brand is... Um, the first ingredient is talc, and the second ingredient is mica, which you guys know has some ill effects when it comes down to your health. Um, so just be prepared. Um, it does have a mirror. Um, that's what it looks like. It does fold all the way around. And here are the pretty colors. Um, I'll swatch a couple to show you guys. And these are just like really creamy and really soft. And if you look, they have like lips pressed into it. So here's my swatches. Um, I have my camera kind of pulled away a little bit just because everyone's like, oh, we need to see a little more of your body. I don't know if they're perverts or what. Hang on a sec, my dog's calling me guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, my daughter called me. She's been getting really bad headaches here lately. So, um, she was like, oh yeah, I have another headache today. And then she gets work and she gets headache. All right, I'm going to move you a little closer. Um, just because I don't know how to zoom in when I'm filming. This is our, the top four, four colors. They don't have names on them. And if you look at this one, it's kind of like those, like, really chunky glitters that are like in petroleum jelly. I hate those. Because really, you don't get hardly anything off. Okay, so let's go with the next row. I mean, they're very, very pigmented. And I'm excited to try them. They don't swatch very well, but we all know that swatches don't show how they work on the eyes. But I will tell you, since I have played with some of these just to see, um, they have dyed my skin. So that means that they are pressed pigments. So, just so you know. And if anyone's interested in how I did my eye look, um, I'll put everything down below. What I use like I always do. Okay, so the next row. I need to speed this up otherwise. And, oh, by the way, they are very, very, <laughs> I just got it all over my camera. My phone, I mean. Okay. They're very, very chalky. Uh, but they're, I mean, they're great colors. That was a great swatch there, Tambi. God. <sighs> I give you, I am not. Okay. But see, they did wash away really well. Okay. But, look at the wipe. Okay. So, now I'm going to go into the two glitters that they have here. On this one. Which really, you definitely would have to have a glitter glue for that. And then this peach color on the bottom. I mean, they're very pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm just letting you know that they're very powdery. And as you can see, just me touching this pink one, put a fingerprint in it, and I did not really touch it that hard. Hmm. Anyways, so that was this one. 
and let me see if I can grab the box because I kind of tossed it this way. Hello. <laughs> Pico. So, um, ingredients are talc, mica, titanium dioxide, uh, silica, isopropyl, palmonite, dimethicone, bunch of stuff I can't pronounce, but it's uh, spoiled cosmetics. Um, I'll link their website down below because they actually have really good deals. Okay, so that was the Spoiled Com Cosmetic. This is the Planchet 2. Alrighty, let's reach into the box. This was a free gift that I got um, for ordering. You order so much and they throw in all these free gifts. Um, uh, it's Spoiled Lips Liquid Cosmetic. It's in neon. Um, they're just like little, little ones. Um, playing with these, I noticed they're not that great. Um, they don't, and they all have like names of uh, Vegas casinos and stuff. Um, let me swatch them for you guys while I'm at it. Uh, this first one is like an orange color. It's called Luxor. Or Luxor, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've never been to Vegas, so I couldn't tell you any of that. So let's put that on back. Um, this one's white. This one is called Ghost Bar. Tell me anyone, is there an actual, uh, casino or a club called Ghost Bar in Vegas? And I know Zach Bagans has his ghost museum. Um, this is like a bright pink and it's just called The Strip. I'm a horrible swatcher. I am a horrible swatcher. I've been thinking about getting like a um like a template of some kind. It's like a teal blue. It's called Fremont. You know what? I don't have my lights on, so I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. There we go. I mean, they're pretty good when you swatch them on your hand, but when I went to go put them on my lips, they weren't that great. But one good thing is they're vegan and cruelty free and paraben free and um, they're eye safe. So you can put these as like a base. This one's called the Mir or called Mirage. So you could put it as a base to use colors. Like I could have put the pink down today and let it dry down and it would have made my pink a little more popping. Um, this is like a really pretty lime green. And it's called Encore. So, I mean, they're very pretty. Um, I would more be apt to use them as a base for my eyeshadow. Or even just like a, a light base for a gloss. Um, because, yeah. These, actually, you got to be careful, though. Because they actually will dye your skin. I don't know if you can really see it or not. But it kind of dyed my skin a little bit. Okay. You guys getting bored of me yet? It's going to be a long one, guys. Sorry. And now this one is another liquid lip. Um, this one's Liquid Lip Trio by Spoiled Lips. Net weight, 3.2 grams. Their liquid lips have all kinds of things in it that I have no idea what they are. So, three very, very pretty colors. I will swatch these for you guys. Now, these ones performed much, much better than the minis. I don't know if it's because the minis may not have as much product in it. Or what, but they performed a lot better. And these were a uh, part of what the mystery bundle. Um, so from the brown to the teal to the red, we're looking at soulmate, sage, and chili. I am gonna admit the brown looks a little bit like poop, but. 
Well, I just dropped sage. And again, I'm washing them off like right away. And I have some color left there. One sec. Let me move this a little bit and see if I can get sage off my petal. Hot Mess Express coming your way. Okay. There's a lot more, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm hoping to keep this a little shorter. All right. So I'm going to speed up here. Okay. So this one is a liquid lip called Magic. Um, this was another one that was a part of either my lippy mystery or something. But um, this isn't the one I ordered. But it is so freaking pretty. Look at that. Could you imagine that on your eyes? Oh my god. As a base. Mm. Now the one I did order is this one which is called Bite Me. Um, I really wanted a metallic purple. But I didn't want to pay the price for the whole mini lippies for the uh, Jeffree Star, new, new Jeffree Star collection. And this isn't quite as purple as I thought it was going to be, but it is still very, very pretty. And now, mind you, this company is actually very reasonably priced. Um, I got four of their palettes for a deal of like a hundred bucks. It sells like twenty-five bucks a palette, you know. And their lippies are like eight bucks each, so very, very reasonably priced. And if you do a large order, you get a lot of free gifts. So, here's another one. Spoil Cosmetics. I think this is the one that has a normal on the front. Yes, it has a no mirror, but a cute little narwhal on the front. And here is the beautiful palette. So, what I think I'm going to do is, um, to to speed it up, I'm going to insert a picture here of the swatches. One sec. Okay, I'm back. And I, and I did insert the picture. Um, this one, very highly pigmented. Very much so that it is actually dyeing my skin. And keep in mind, all I had on my arms was the base of the hemp lotion. No primer. So that might be part of it. There's no real protection, but it did kind of stain my arm. And I mean, the wipes are horrible, but very pigmented, very pretty. And they're like, not, this one isn't as dusty as the planchette one, which is awesome. So there's that one. Okay, let's see here. This is the Neons one, and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous! So it's got these pretty lips on the back, and that. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, guys. And look at that. Again, I'm going to, and it has a mirror, obviously, because you can see everything in front of me. And again, I'm going to insert a swatch picture here. back see I tried to do it differently um now the glitters in this you would definitely need a glitter glue but at the same time it you necessarily wouldn't I mean they're really soft but they have like really good payoff and oh my word is my arm I'm gonna pick up my tripod and show you guys my arm is completely dyed I'm um, going to have glitter for days everywhere. So, um, when I did do the silver one, it like really picked up silver. So it like kind of pushed it out. But that is this one. Um, this one was a part of the Planchet uh, grouping. Okay, so I've got three more palettes in here, which means two more Two of them were from my little pack I bought, and then one extra would be like a free gift. 
Um, I believe this one's a free gift one. And I love how it has like a little pineapple on the front. Yeah. And it just says volume two. Um, this one does have a mirror. And then it has these pretty colors. So again, I will throw in a picture of the splotches here. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at swatches, guys. Um, I mean, it's a very, they're all very, very pretty, but I've noticed um, a lot of them have the same colors in each palette, which is probably why they have no names, because, you know, it's just something that goes throughout the whole collection. But the more and more <laughs> I do this, the more and more my arm ends up dyed with the makeup. Oh, Lord, help me now. But again, very pretty, and I have noticed that their shimmers are very creamy. So again, this is that one. It's got a pineapple on the front. Um, I keep my plastic in mine just because it protects not only the shadows, it protects the mirror. That's just me. Now, mind you, now i got to find room for all these damn palettes. But I say that like it's a bad thing. Um, this was another one that was a part of the grouping that I bought. Um, it's so pretty. It's called O Abbey Spoil Cosmetics. Hang on, I gotta have a drink. I've been talking for too long. Okay, come on, open up. Ow, that one like peeled up my nails. I've been doing artificial nails and my nails are beat. From it it says to all unicorns be bold be bright and be brave while you do it xo xo o abby so i'm thinking this might have been a collaboration with somebody and that's the front and this one you guys has so many colors that are so absolutely beautiful and yes obviously a mirror um i'm only gonna I know some of these are just so different. This is going to be an interesting swatch. I will insert it here. I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, this one must be a, a collab because these actually have names like Kofi Cake, uh, Sunrays, Cheeky, Tiffany's, Garden. This garden color, oh my god, it was beautiful. And I, I know my swatches suck. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, one more. One more. And this one is so cute. Um, you know, I got Poppy to play with later. This one is a donut-shaped palette. Um, as you can see, the front kind of looks like um, Dunkin' Donuts. Kind of like Dunkin' Donuts-esque. And then you pull it out, maybe, and ta-da, it is a donut, even the back, and the so hole is a heart. I'm sorry, but that kind of looks like someone's kissing a butt, but anyways, I shouldn't say that. And I open it up, and there's a mirror, and then here is the pretty colors. Insert swatching here. back again and as you can see the glitter is another one of those chunky ones that technically shouldn't be eye safe so um definitely don't use them at home that way um when they're chunky glitter like that you run a higher risk of getting them in your eye and scratching your corneas and i've had my cornea scratched off twice by a cat the same cat mind you and um it's not fun. And you can see, even me just wiping it off, I still have glitter pieces all over me. Um, I did learn a trick that if you do decide to do glitter like that, um, before you wash it off, take a piece of tape and tamp it. And that tape will help take off the glitter. And, yeah. Oh, I didn't do the middle ones. 
Well, I gotta do that now, I guess, on my hand. I didn't do them at the center ones. Um, these ones also have names. Look at all these wipes I had not went through. Good lord. Um, but this one's like donut themed, obviously. Strawberry, sprinkles, apple crumb, um, and it sparkled all over me for days. Old fashioned Boston cream, jelly donut, blueberry, almond, cinnamon, sugar, red velvet, frosted munchkin, and glazed donuts. Center two would make a really good highlight too. I think that would be a really good, um, fall themed palette. So... On that note, I am done with the uh, unboxing. My my box is empty, sadly. But now that I've unboxed these for you guys, that just means now that I can start playing with them myself. Because if I'm going to do an unboxing, I may open things up and look at them just because I, you know, I'm a child and I have no patience. Um, that was ugly. Smile without teeth in. Ugh. Anyways. So, um, I can't wait to play, um, especially with like the liquid lips. I've never done it with like a base of a liquid lip and then an eyeshadow on top. Um, today I didn't even do primer in my eyes and I did like a, a pink off of a new palette my mom got me. It's like a $10 dupe for the, um, new nudes by Huda. And believe it or not, it's actually an amazing palette. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link below. And I still have chunky glitter all over me from the donut one. But anyways, that is my my new collection. Um, I usually use Afterpay because, you know, as you all know, I'm on Social Security. So I don't have a lot of an income coming in. Um, I usually use Afterpay. That way I can make payments. But this time I used something similar to Afterpay called Sezzle on this one. And I really like using stuff like that. Um, I'll put a link below for both of them, actually, if you haven't heard, heard of them. It's basically a company that you put a down payment on it and then they'll ship your items out and then they'll automatically deduct the money from your account when it's due in like two weeks or three weeks or whatever. Um, I have missed a couple payments on my afterpay just because I didn't get paid at the time I thought I was going to get paid. Um, so right now, even though my afterpay is completely paid off, I'm not able to use afterpay. So I guess I'm using Sezzle in the meantime, but I really am not going to order any more makeup for a while because I have all my boxes coming next month. I have my daughter's birthday coming next month. I have my niece and my nephew's birthday coming next month. I have a lot coming up next month. Um, I have not received my stimulus check. Uh, I did check the portal thingy, which if you guys don't know about that, I'll try to link that below also. And it says I'm eligible. They just don't have a date yet as to when I'm going to actually get mine. So, um, everything on my face will be listed below. Um, my makeup, my jewelry is paparazzi. Um, we do have a local gal that we buy from. I love my jewelry. Um, this is the first day in a while that I've actually forced myself to get up and put a bra on, do makeup. I don't usually wear bras when I'm not going anywhere, but I have a really pretty one on today. So, as I just show the world my bra, it's probably going to get me taken off YouTube now. It's a good thing I'm not monetized because I'd be demonetized by now. Um, they do... I do have some requests of some videos of showing my body more, which is why I'm kind of pushed back a little bit. But I'm also, when I get my stimulus check, I am in desperate need of clothes. I'm going to do kind of like a haul video, um, probably from like Romans or One Stop Plus or one of those, and um, show you what I always wear, leggings and a tank top, leggings and a t-shirt, or maybe leggings and a long sleeve shirt or something like that which will show more of my body, both sitting and standing. So that is in the works, guys. But again, um, just a reminder that it is okay not to be okay. Um, I love you all, my little puzzle pieces. 
you know I'm always here for you. Um, you can email me, you can send me a message. Um, if you email me, let me know you do email me because sometimes mine likes to send it to spam. Um, for some reason, my t.newton88 at gmail is very finicky. Um, my eyebrows are very expressive today. Anyways, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed my spoiled cosmetics palette haul. And I'll see you soon. Remember, stay safe, stay home, stay isolated if you need to. Um, not only keep yourself healthy, but keep those around you healthy and those you love healthy and your community healthy. So I love you guys and I'll see you in your next, my, in your next video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.